。好，跟住啦，就去到第八條啦。今次呢，又係講呢個基礎遺傳學，又係講血型嘅。咁喺一三一四年呢，其實都要問過血型㗎啦。兩個呢，都係問 A、B 型血嘅。今次啦，又問邊款血型呢？今次啦，就講 B 型血同埋呢個 O 型血嘅。咁啊 ，B 型血呢，就係顯性，咁 O 型血呢，就係隱性。咁而家啦，有一個家庭入面呢，阿老公同阿老婆呢，分別就係 O 型血同埋 B 型血嘅。咁佢哋生咗兩個小朋友啦，咁兩個呢都係 B 型血嘅。咁呢個老公就話啦：，哎呀，我老婆呢就必然係純合型啦。咁當然啦，嗱，成條呢就係去講返呢 B 型血呢，其實佢都有兩款可能性㗎嘛。因為血型呢一樣嘢係屬於一個 multiple allele， 我哋有 I 嘅大界 A，I 嘅大界 B 同埋世界 I， 分別就係去掌管住 A 型血、B 型血、O 型血或者 A、B 型血。咁而家阿老婆究竟係咪一定係純合型呢？阿老公啱唔啱呢？咁其實成條題目啦，一開波呢就一定要知道返究竟啦佢哋兩公婆啊，佢哋各自可能嘅基因型。咁啊老公啊唔使審㗎啦，一定係世界世界 I。咁啊因為佢 O 型血嘅純合啊嘛。咁但係老婆就唔同啦，其實佢係有兩個可能性，佢可以係 I 大 B，I 大 B， 又或者啦 I 大 B 諗住個細 I， 其實佢都仲係呢 B 型血嘅。咁所以我哋喺呢一 part 咧就要提翻大家啦，等位基因咧系一 pair pair 去做事嘅，而一 pair pair 做事嘅情况底下啦，亦都要知道翻咧显性嘅等位基因同埋隐性嘅等位基因佢哋之间嘅互动，就系、是、喺一个集合型嘅时候咧，就只有显性嘅等位基因能够表达到出嚟，又或者我哋反翻转嚟讲啦，一个。隱性嘅基因咧，就會俾呢個顯性嘅基因咧，所謂遮蓋咗佢嘅嗰個表達嘅。我問呢條題目啦，有另一個更加重要嘅概念咧，就係、是、要明白到一個 sampling size 嘅限制啊。究竟佢生咗幾多個小朋友先？而家生得兩個啫喎，夠唔夠多去俾阿老公作出呢個咁樣嘅判斷呢？咁有時答呢類題目咧都唔使審噶啦，畫曬兩個嘅誒 genetic diagram 咧都冇死嘅。其實畫呢只都好快嘅啫。你見我咧就寫曬嗰啲 labeling 嘅咩？ Parent 啊 g a m e 嗰啲嘅，咁因為做 MC 啫嘛，其實你係齋齋畫翻中間呢一堆字咧，都已經好足夠，夠曬你咧去判斷老公啱定係錯噶啦。咁啊，而家做咗擊破啦 ，A 咧佢就講啦，咁啊老公係錯嘅，咁啊因為咧我哋呢個世界係有其他嘅血型噶嘛。本身呢一句説話咧，本質上係冇錯嘅，但係你兩公婆一個 O 型血，一個 B 型血，冇意思噶嘛。我話俾你聽啊，呢、這個世界有 A 型血嘅，有 A B 型血嘅，咁啊點啫？關你咩事啫？除非嗰啲仔女唔係你嘅仔女嚟嘅啫。咁所以 A 呢就係錯嘅，跟住再到 B 啦，啊老公呢係錯嘅，咁啊即使呢老婆係一個集合型啊，其實都有一半嘅機會呢係生到一個 B 型血嘅小朋友嘅，咁其實的確又係喎，因為 d i a g e n e t i c diagram 已經畫咗俾你哋啦，咁今次老婆啦就係集合型，有機會整出出嚟嘅 gamete 咧就係 I 大 B 同埋世界 I 啦，其實真係有五十 percent 嘅機會生到一個小朋友係 B 型血㗎喎。咁而家都係生兩個啫，係咪？咁唔代表話生完一個 B， 另一個一定要 O 型血㗎嘛？咁所以啦，呢一個呢，就已經係我哋嘅答案啦。講完 B 呢，我唔講 C 住，我想講埋個 D 先。咁啊，由於啦已經答案啦，咁啊即係話啦 D 呢，就已經係錯㗎啦。即係佢話啦，哎，阿老婆呢，係純合型呢，必然正確嘅，因為佢個立論就話啦，如果啊老婆係集合型嘅話，一定係其中一個小朋友係 B 型血，而另一個小朋友必然係 O 型血㗎。咁其實呢個擺到明呢，就係錯嘅，因為點解呢？因為啦，你忽略咗一樣嘢，就係 random f e r t i l i z a t i o n 係一個隨機嘅受精作用。你鬼知道啊！今次嘅卵子必然係 B 型血嘅等位基因，又或者下一粒卵子必然係世界 I 嘅等位基因咩？你唔會知㗎嘛？啲呢句呢，純粹睇個 g e n e t i c diagram 呢。諗就係咁樣諗，咁始終呢都要留意返個 sampling size 嗰個樣本大細啊。今次得兩個小朋友咋，除非你生一千個小朋友啦。咁我哋啦，如果用返一個 heterocycles 嘅做法嘅話呢，確係大啲嘅機會呢，趨向於五十五十 percent 嘅。跟住咧就到 C 啦，咁啊老公呢係、呃、正確嘅，咁當然啦，即係其實我哋知道佢錯啦。佢話因為呢，老豆呢就係冇一個 B 型血嘅等位基因。咁所以啦，所有嘅 B 型血嘅等位基因呢，都一定係嚟自阿媽嘅。嗱，呢句本質上係冇錯嘅。咁你諗下啦，兩個 case 呢，都係可以符合到呢個邏輯㗎喎。但其實啦，根據 case one 或者 case two 呢，其實呢句邏輯都係啱㗎喎，因為呢句本質上係正確啊嘛。因為啦，老豆你真係唔會有 I B 呢個 allele 啊嘛。
，咁唯獨啦，李後生到 B 型血嘅小朋友喎，咁呢個 I B 嘅阿 Leo 咁緊係由阿老婆嗰邊過嚟㗎啦，但係唔能夠因此而判別到老婆必然係純合型啊嘛，我哋只係知得到老婆起碼有一個 B 型血嘅阿 Leo 啫嘛。咁佢另一邊嘅阿 Leo 係咩啫？我鬼知咩？佢可以係純合型，亦都可以呢係集合型。但係弊就弊在喺 MC 呢，我哋一定係好小心，係咪必然係呢？佢唔係必然係，佢可以係。用返英文就係 His wife may be heterozygous。Question eight is about the basic genetics and also is about the blood groups. So in two one three and two one four, we have already done the blood group question. So in these two question, is talking about the blood group A B. So this time is not talking about blood group A B. Is talking about blood group B and blood group O. So in human, is given that blood group B is dominant to blood group O. And these pieces of information I extract for you for several times. So in the family, the father and the mother are of blood group O and B respectively. So this question, we are checking the possible genotype of the parents. So for the father, he must be the small small I, and for mother, she can be I B I B or I B and with a small I. So they have two children who are of blood group B, and the father claims that. His wife must be homozygous for blood group B, so he claimed that his wife must be I big B I big B because for the blood group system actually is a multiple allele system. We have the I big A, I big B, and then the small I. So that's why there are four possible combination. Maybe blood group A, blood group B, and blood group A B and blood group O. So that's the basic concept we need to recall first. And then for the allele, we need to know that they work in a pair. So that's why for the second concept, we need to recall the interaction between the dominant allele and the recessive allele. Only dominant allele can be expressed. Or we reverse the idea to say that the recessive allele expression is masked by the dominant allele. And for the third concept, which is also very important, is the limitation of the sampling size. Now there are only two children in this family, so actually, is the sampling size big enough? So let's take a look at the question. And now we are going to determine whether the husband is correct or not. So let's take a look at the options. So for the option A, he is wrong because there are other blood groups besides B and O. This part of the statement, which is True itself, but it doesn't mean that his conclusion is correct. Even they are blood group A, blood group A B, but in fact, for these two people, they do not have the blood group A allele. Otherwise, one of them may be blood group A, or the other will be blood group A B. So even statement A, the reason part is just stating the matter of fact, but it cannot used as the reason for this conclusion. So that's why option A is wrong. And for option B, the husband is wrong because even the mother is heterozygous. Each child has fifty percent to be the blood group B. So we can see at the case two, mother is heterozygous, and there is really fifty percent for the child to be blood group O or blood group B. So this statement is correct. And I would like to skip. Option C, and then talk about option D first. So option D, of course, we know that it is wrong. So that means his conclusion is not really correct. So let's take a look at the reason. Because if the mother is heterozygous, one child should be of blood group B, and the other child should be of blood group O. Although we can draw the phenotypic ratio one to one in this diagram of case two, say he missed the very key idea. About the random fertilization, and we never know that which egg will carry the blood group B allele and which egg will carry the small I allele. So that's why we cannot say that oh, because they are fifty percent for the children to be blood group B or O, it means that the first child. Uh, if he is the blood group B, and then for the second child, he must be of the blood group O. We cannot say that because the fertilization is a random process. So that's why option D is wrong. And then for option C, of course, it is also wrong. So let's take a look at the reason. Because the father has no allele of blood group B, so all the allele of blood group B must have come from the mother. This statement is true itself. But it cannot be used as the reason to explain that 
the wife must be heterozygous. So that's why uh, when we are doing the MC, particularly for the basic genetics, we always see those words must, may. Is it really a must for the wife to be homozygous and then give the exam and then pass the blood group B allele to the offspring? Actually, no matter in case one or case two, it is still the case for the father, for the father, he never has the IB allele. So that's why the IB allele, it must come from the mother. So no matter the wife is homozygous or heterozygous, this statement is still correct. So that's why it cannot be regarded as the reason. So that's why the answer is B.